We're losing kelp at an alarming rate and we need to take action quickly to make sure we preserve the genetic stock from nature so that we can take steps later to restore it. Kelp are hugely important marine organisms that act like trees on land. They provide food and shelter for a wide diversity of marine organisms, including salmon and other ecologically and economically important fish. Many people locally, including scientists and local citizens in British Columbia, have been noticing over the last uh, number of years now that kelp has been in decline. So the reasons for these observed declines in kelp are not totally understood yet, but we generally suspect that warming due to climate change is a primary driver. It's become apparent that we need to take action fast. So my lab is developing a, a kelp biobank. So a biobank is uh, similar to the seed banks that people have for land plants. We've developed a new technique where we can cryopreserve the seed. And that means that we can store it for years. The old way of storing kelp required a lot of culturing. And so this new technique is going to be able to now save way more populations of kelp in the biobank than we ever could before. We've been working with the PSF for the past four years on this project, and we've been developing the techniques to be able to store the kelp seed in this biobank. The next steps in our project are to try to find a facility, a place where we can house this biobank so it can go on and into the future. <laughs>